Uh, Ma'am? Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. It sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a five-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go! I'm at least seven gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. Freddy Fish, the case of the Hogfish Wrestlers of Briny Gulch. Um, audio sync up first. One, two, one, two. Right, sorry about that. Anyway, greetings and salutations everyone. This is another look at a very old game that has a very fond place in my childhood. Freddy Fish 4. Like any humongous entertainment game, you can click about randomly and have a lot of crazy things happen. Um, this one is probably... There's Cousin Calico's Ranch! I can't wait! Let's go, Freddy! This game is probably for younger gamers than the Spy Fox was. Oh well. She's mighty good looking, but Carol Katie's cooking. There's nothing to go on about. Sneaks underneath the table, but my dog fest just spins it right out. <laughs> Good boy. Uh, there's usually a game. There's usually a song somewhere in the game you, you can find randomly just by clicking about. Usually they have several. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. We definitely need to hit that worrying quota, right? So, Freddy Fish games have always been sort of uh, kid-sized mysteries, shall we say. The first game... Oh, thanks. Very artistic of you. The first game was about trying to find Grandma Grouper's kelp seed treasure, which had been stolen by the local... Uh, Gangster sharks, I want to say. Well, maybe mobster sharks. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! The second We're game. Rich. The second game was a ghost that was haunting the schoolhouse and stealing all of the kids' toys. It was also those mobster sharks again. The third game was a bit out of the way. <laughs> where we went to a more tropical part of the ocean and to visit Luther here. Luther. What do you think we should do now, Freddy? Let's look around for clues. Okay. Luther's uncle Lenny to take part in a festival. The thing is that the great conch shell that was the main attraction of the festival had been stolen and Luther's uh, uncle was suspected as the actual thief. 
And then we have this game. Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those wrestlers. Which is more of a western theme, and it's about hogfish wrestlers. Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles! I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. You're a bit fidgety, aren't you? What's that big thing? Hey. Oh, that, that's, um, it's a personal project. Nothing important. It says, just buckles. Let us know if you hear anything that might help us, okay? Sure. Did you see this picture? It's my son. Half Nelson, he was real cute as a baby, don't you think? He has your forearms. Now the thing about Freddy Fish 3 that made it interesting is that you had suspects. There were, I believe, six different characters and any of them could have been the thief. Which one it was, was randomized for each run. Um, you just do what you're doing. Giving it who... So you actually had to sort of pay attention. Granted, the way you figured out the actual culprit was at the very end they drop something and it would be a very blatant hint towards who the actual culprit is. What are these plans? No, oh, those are the blueprints for the custom belt buckles I make. They feature a stylish arching metal back with a personalized letter on the front. Any letter the customer wants! I'll bet they look nice. No, oh, they're very popular. Mamma mia. It says... And just in case you're wondering, we can't actually move on with the plot until we've done something. Because the road is closed due to construction. Road closed due to construction. Back shortly. We could just swim over the top of it, but... Kids game. Gosh, Luther. I'm glad you're here with me. I'm glad too. Oh. Yeah. Alright, let's talk. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend Luther. Or good squid. Of the Santa Clara squids, and these would be Perry and Ape. <laughs> er, uh, apricot. Some rustlers took my cousin's hogfish. Have you seen or heard anything suspicious? Rustlers taking your cousin's hogfish sounds mighty suspicious to me already. I guess that's fair. Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loo. What can I do for you? We wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Oh, boy! Maybe they left a clue. Thank you. Also, I want to show this off. What can I do for you kids? One coral soda, please. You bet! Oops! Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. 
So, I, it actually took me years to find out that if you order... One Loganberry soda, please. One soda on the house. I just assumed the joke was that you can, she kept throwing them on the floor, but actually you can catch it if you click on it before it reaches the end. Ouch! Mm. Oh yeah, it wasn't until I replayed the game recently that I found out you could do that. Go figure. Hi, I'm Freddy, and this is my pal Luther. Well, hello! Hey, Finn Goodfield! Dr. Piano Ology, at your service. Stella at the counter said she saw some suspicious looking pipes in here yesterday. Did you see anything? We think they might have been rustlers. Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Anyhow, if you check this out, it gives you a series of short little movies to view. Is it a bit of a waste of time? Maybe. But it is part of the game. I mean, they put the effort into putting it into the game, why not? Okay, how many kids at the time that this came out would actually know about that, though? enough humongous entertainment games and you can hear certain sound effects that they really got their mileage out of. So much for that. Kids game. Scale Rider.
I'm looking for Finn Eastwood. You feel guppy? Well, do ya? All the puns. And we've looked around. Wasted a good amount of time, but it was cute. It was funny. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Ruffler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Three, zero, seven. I'll bet the rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. I mean, I've already forgotten what the combination is, so it's a good thing that we're hanging on to it. Um, also worth noting, purple sea urchins are the usual we currency. We have one purple sea urchin. There's also apparently orange sea urchins, which are worth a lot more, but we've never actually gotten the chance to use any. Um, okay, not quite. In Freddy Fish 3, we get a wallet of orange purple sea, of orange sea urchins, and by uh, returning it, we get one to spend for ourselves, which may or may not be important for that game's route. You can never be too sure. Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. So, elephant in the room. We've run into two rather suspicious characters. The game, just like Freddy Fish 3, one of these people is guilty. But we're not going to know until we get to the end of the game. And Come on. Let's check out that hatch. Okay. And so, it might not even be one of those two, it might very well be someone that we've yet to meet who is also extremely suspicious. Keep your eyes open. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Three, zero, seven. Okay, just needed this to It shouldn't be too it. hard. We just have to punch in the combination. What? Two, three. Actually, wait, if we try to go through here. It won't open. It's locked. Maybe we can find out the combination. Wait a minute. Didn't I see a combination written somewhere? Hmm. Okay, just wanted if to double check on that. If we punch in the combination that. right, the lock will open. Nine, eight. Seven. Uh. We did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Farnett, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers. I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Uh, well, we dropped the note. Let's try and pick it up back up again. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. <coughs> well? I can see why the wrestlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. Oh, boy. A very silly joke, but one that still makes me smile.
It's wrestlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be wrestlers. How do you know we're not wrestlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like wrestlers. If you were a wrestler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. A belt buckle like mine. And a fashionable bow tie. All wrestlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm, a blue 10 gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an L on it, and a bow tie. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, so you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the Rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. So yes, we, we need to get our hands on an outfit just like what he's wearing. Is there any time we can compare notes It's a picture here? of a hogfish, Rustler. I think these Rustler outfits look nice. Hmm, a blue 10 gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an L on it, and a bow tie. We don't have any of those things. We'd better get cracking. I was hoping that it would leave it open for me to compare notes on, but the hat, there are two routes in which you get the hat, but it's always going to be white. The color is randomized, but you might remember the place where we see all the potential colors so we can give it the color we need. The belt buckle is always gotten the same way. However, the, where we get the letter from is randomized and it, it, the letters are always in the same place but which one we need is randomized. The final piece of the disguise, it can either be the bow tie or the neckerchief. That's random. Anyway, uh, if we leave we should get a cutscene which is why I just talked about it here. All right, you hogfish, quiet down or else, or else I'm calling Mr. Big. Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. Anyway, I actually want to go back and talk to Calico because um, it's not mandatory, but she does actually react if you tell her where you think you know where the hogfish are. Cousin Calico, we saw one of the rustlers. You did? They're at the old ship, the Rusty Rustler. That's good work, both of you. Any sign of the hogfish? I'm sure the hogfish are there too. We could get inside and rescue them if we looked more like rustlers. Dress like rustlers, eh? That sounds like a good plan. But how do you know what a rustler looks like? Oh, we have a picture. Oh, good. Yeah, so it's good to keep her up to date on things so she doesn't worry herself senseless. By visiting the Rustly Hustler and getting the magazine picture, we've opened up the way to the rest I of the game. I guess whoever was working here is done now. Oh, a screwdriver. We could use that. That's a nice screwdriver you have there. Thanks! Do you think we could borrow it for a while? No, we might need it to work on this dance floor. Maybe later when it's finished. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about six feet by six feet ought to do it. So we need to get our hands on some six feet by six feet wood. Fantastic. Hello, you have exactly what we need. My name's Freddy Fish, and this is my best pal, Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Slim. Professional traveling man and blues musician. Musician? Do you play an instrument? Harmonica. Well... Where's your harmonica, Slim? We'd like to hear you play. Well, 
I got a little song about that. Listen here. Oh, I used to play harmonica all the live long day. But now I miss my monica. I traded it away. Yes, I traded my harmonica. The apple of my I traded away my monica for a ratty old bow tie. You traded your harmonica for a bow tie? Yeah, I wish I hadn't now. What did you even need the bow tie for is the question. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's a Harris Lamb special super stew. My own recipe. Oh, not quite ready. You can actually help him with the stew, but I think you need to be on the negative roof for it to be mandatory. Also, wood. This should be useful. You should be careful you don't get splinters. Okay, so on certain routes, there'll actually be another area you can go visit over here. We are not on that route, so I know exactly- Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! I know exactly what sort of things we need to do to get our hands on the 10 gallon hat. Yeah, I know the game quite well. Um, what does that mean? Hang on, where was I going with that thought? I did have one a moment ago. Gee, there's a porthole! Let's try to get over there! We can't get in there. The water level is too low. Oh, that's highly unfortunate, isn't it? Even more unfortunate. I think there's a handle missing from this crank. So yeah, we need to get our hands on a handle in order to get into the boat. Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it, you know who. And deliver it right away, it's urgent. Yes, sir! Oh, <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. Anyhow, you guys. That's not gonna do me any good. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. <laughs> A sawfish and a hammerhead shark. Perfect construction workers. Our work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. You'd think that he could just bring a bigger piece of wood than they want and uh, 
have them cut off the parts that overlap, but I guess that wouldn't be teaching kids how to remember numbers. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure! In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks! I mean, they aren't planning on doing any work. And this guy is a cameo from Freddy Fish 3. He was one of the possible culprits. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go! Therefore I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great! So this is kind of clever. You can only get five purple sea urchins in a game. He's only going to sell you one stick of gum though, all of his others are reserved. This means that it's impossible to screw yourself out of uh, buying things by buying too much of the wrong thing. You can't buy more than one stick of gum, and it's impossible to have enough money to buy two nuts. Speaking of which, we are actually on the route where we want We'd gum. We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or, if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Very verbose way of saying, I need more. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. The thing is, nuts are always mandatory. So you are going to need at least three purple sea urchins, uh, no matter which uh, what the RNG says you need to do. Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. And here we have our 10 gallon hat. This was oh easy. Oh boy! A real 10 gallon hat! Thief! Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked! On a hat? Well, suddenly it's not as easy as it first appeared. Excuse me, uh, Mr... Shrimp's the name! Used to be Sheriff Shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. What happened to the sheriff part? They took my silver star! You can't be a sheriff without a silver star. Folks won't respect you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah! I'll tell you what, this county would owe you a great service if you did. So, the sheriff. We heard from Cousin Calico that he was having trouble. His trouble will always be connected to the 10 gallon hat, so no matter what route you're on, you're going to have to save him if you want to get your hands on a hat. And this is a weird bit of... Wanted. So yeah, randomized stuff. Wanted. Wrong hat roof by the sheriff and the county for the discourteous offense of seahorse biting. Crazy Nose Clifford, Black Tongue Sally, Long Tooth Clyde, Crooked Fin Malfuke, Black Tongue Alice, 
crazy eye Luke. You can also select whatever you'd like to see. Like weird and silly things but yes um if you do have the sheriff under the hat you have to remember what sort of star he asks for because there's several colors and you might not you he won't accept the wrong one hello huh? wow that's amazing you should see my brother Okay, let's try this again. Do you think you could let us by? Sorry, can't! Why is that? I think I'm stuck! Well, you're unstuck now, so we can go past. Do you have to keep puffing up like that? Can't help it! Reflex! Reflex? Happens whenever anybody gets near me! Once more. Do you think you could move out of the hole while you're still small? Move? No way! Too scared! So yeah, we've got to find a way to get past him. It's actually possible to torture him a bit by incorrect options, but I don't have the time to waste with that. Anyway, I think this is a place where I should probably call the episode because I'm not going to run a one hour video, those just... I do go over time a lot, but I don't like doing it because it makes Audacity a bit weird to work with. It's something I can do, I usually just don't aim for it. So, until next time guys, take care, I'll see you all around.